Yes, I recycle in Reading. Yes, I recycle. No, I reside in Reading, but I don't recycle. Yes, we do recycle. We recycle in Reading. No, I do not recycle in Reading. I do recycle in Reading. I try to recycle in Reading. I do, um, and I love to do it. A lot of people have no idea what happens to the material they put in their cart once it leaves the house. And I really feel that when people can see how it's actually handled and processed, they can understand the importance of putting the right thing in the cart and just have a better understanding of how much work it takes to actually separate all those items out so that they can actually be sold and recycled. Everybody thinks an aluminum can or a pop bottle is recyclable, but they don't necessarily think that cardboard or tin or some of the other items we collect are recyclables. So the city puts out flyers that tells everybody several times a year, put these in your blue bin. Well, we want to let people know what items can and can't go in their blue cart. It helps us do a better job on our end of sorting the material. It also will prevent machine breakdowns with when the wrong thing is placed in there and it's not pulled off in time. A lot of people think you can put any kind of plastic in the bin and they say, well, it's got the little recycling symbol on it, so that must mean it's recyclable. But that's not always the case. Well, some of the worst things to put in the bins are anything in bags, any kind of ropes or hoses. Plastic bags from the grocery store, they are recyclable at the grocery store, but we can't take them here. We're not set up to process them. I see a lot of baby diapers, batteries, tools, all kinds of different metal. Honestly, I think that people use their recycling bin as a second trash can. Well, ideally, would be customers having their can out the night before. That way, when we get there, there's no collection issues. I look at everything that falls out, and if I see something obvious, I'm going to jump out and tag it. And then I leave these hoops tags right here on their can. The arms of our truck spread out to pick up a cart, so we ask that your carts are always at least three feet apart and six feet away from any obstacles like a car or a mailbox, basketball hoops. Well, when people place their carts too close together or too close to an obstacle, there's a couple things that can happen. If the driver is able to and has time, he'll move the cart so he can empty it. If he's got a lot going on that day, he may not be able to stop to do that and get to get his route done on time, and your cart might not get emptied at all. After the cart has been placed out for collection, the truck comes by, picks it up, and empties it into the truck. The recyclables are then brought to the transfer station where they are dumped out onto the floor. A loader then pushes the recyclables onto a conveyor belt that takes them up to the cardboard and trash sort line. The first group of workers pull out the cardboard and drop it down a chute. The next workers remove as much of the trash as they can before the material falls onto the sorting discs. I pull specifically trash and cardboard off the line so it doesn't go through the rest of the machine. There are two sets of sorting discs that spin. The paper stays on top and makes its way to the mixed paper line. The discs are on shafts that spin and have gaps in them to allow the bottles and jars to fall through where they make their way to the container sort line through a series of conveyor belts. The small pieces of broken glass fall through the gaps in the discs to a belt at the bottom that goes to a machine called the cyclone. Small pieces of paper and other lightweight items are sucked off the belt by the cyclone into a trash dumpster. The glass falls onto a belt where a worker removes non-glass materials so that only glass is left. The paper that stays on top of the sorting discs goes to one of two paper lines where workers remove materials that don't belong. Some examples include plastic bags, paper plates, napkins, tissues, chip bags, and dryer sheets. The bottles and jars are sorted by type on the container sort line where we have a holding bay for each separate item. There's one for milk jugs, colored plastic like laundry detergent jugs, and clear plastic water and soda bottles. Tin or steel cans are pulled off the belt with a magnet and the last bin holds aluminum cans. The glass bottles and jars are picked off by color and dropped into a chute that takes them to a glass crusher located outside the building. Okay. 
So once the items are separated by type, they're scooped onto a conveyor belt that feeds to a baler. This is a recycled baler. It bales all the recycled products that the city collects. These bales probably average weight 960 to 1,200 pounds. Whatever we can bale here and recycle doesn't go in the landfill. It saves a lot of space, a lot of money, and it saves a lengthy time where we can use that landfill for more. So the things you place in your cart have now been sorted, separated, baled, and set out to be sold and recycled. Recycling is important because it, it helps our environment. It's important for our future generations because we waste a lot in this age. Recycling is important because our landfills have a limited amount of space. Once our landfill is full, we don't necessarily have another place we can bring it. And ultimately, we would have to ship it out of state, and that becomes really expensive. I love my job. I think I'm making a difference for the ecology and keeping things out of the landfill and, and making the earth a cleaner place. I feel so good about it, like doing something good for the environment. It just supports like the community. It gets rid of a lot of trash if you can recycle it. Please just read the newsletter that comes with your bill, see what's recyclable and what isn't, and just put it in the appropriate bin. It would make it so much easier for all of us. It's for our future, making sure it is clean and healthy. This earth is our home and this is a great place so why not try to take care of it? We get to pass it on to future generations and if we just leave garbage dumps everywhere then we're not doing our, our job as good stewards, right? Every little bit helps. From a plastic bottle to a piece of cardboard, every little bit that's one thing that's not going to make it into the landfill and it all makes a difference.